Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome and please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell below. Um, really excited for today's beer, as always am. Uh, it's a local beer. It's courtesy of Joe from the Beer Patrol. Uh, we went to Matt and Matt's Beer Reviews uh, for his East Coast Beer Tuber Palooza 2019 first annual. I think I got all of the words out. Uh, <laughs> Joe uh, swung through that area and he's like, hey, let me grab anything from Beer Tree. And they had the uh, uh, pineapple creamsicle that I love. He said, yeah, just grab me a four pack of that. But then they had this and another one. He's like, yeah, I thought you might like those. So he grabbed me a can of each to review. So thank you, Joe. Make sure you guys check out him at the Beer Patrol. Uh, I'll try to remember to put a link to his channel in the uh, description box below. Um, I actually don't remember this beer coming out. Um, I think it, it might be like the first time they canned it and put it out. Uh, it's a New England style uh, IPA, 8.3%. I'm sorry, double. New England style IPA, it does say double. Uh, time to pretend. And it is two weeks old. Yeah, it's two weeks old. It must have been, oh, maybe it was released that day he went there. Anyway, um, really cool can art. I don't know. Um, I haven't checked actually if, if this new setup, if I do this, if it shows up or not really on the camera very well. But it is very reminiscent of like an adult coloring book, which I think is really rad. I have my proper glassware. Let's get into it. So hashtag drink local, hashtag proper glassware, um, hashtag <laughs> open the beer and it goes flying. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, definitely excited for it. But yeah, so I don't know what hop or hops are in it. Um, you know, based on the fact that it's New England, I'm assuming they put in some oat and wheat combination. Uh, but yeah, it definitely looks like a, a hazy New England style. Um, it's that orange, yellow color, a little murky. Um, or I shouldn't say a little murky. It's murky. But it's not like... Like you don't see floaties. It's not chunky or anything, I guess. Uh, about two fingers of head, just just barely off white. Uh, tiny bubbles, like like little nitro tiny bubbles. Uh, but yeah, I mean that looks. There's their uh, they're in Port Crane, New York, so they put a map on the glass of where they're located. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks to this you know the style for sure. Let's see about the aroma. It's different. For me, it's not bursting with aroma, so it's a little hard to kind of pinpoint. Um, I get a little bit of this, what I associate with uh, yeast uh, out of New England, like some of those New England breweries like uh, uh, The Alchemist, for example. And it, for me, the, the yeast almost comes across a little nutty. So I definitely get that. I don't know what kind of yeast they're using. I don't know if it's just like that, uh, what is it, British ale yeast that a lot of them use. So I don't know if, if that's what that is. Or if I'm completely wrong about that yeast and, and what I'm getting. And it is it's super interesting. I gotta look up the hops for sure. Or if you know, put it in the comments below. Um, it's not, it's fruity without being like the typical citrus I'm used to. Or like the mango, uh, pineapple, papaya thing. It's more like... Like apricot, a little pear. Um, I don't know why I keep setting it down because I'm going to have to kind of go this well a few times. I can almost see a little bit of sap, like pine sap, but it's not like a piney smell other than this. Like, like it doesn't smell like pine needles, but it kind of smells like pine sap. Like it smells good. It's just, I, it's actually refreshing how different of an aroma it is from what I'm, what I've been drinking a lot lately. So, I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of excited about the taste. That might be a little different because, you know, you drink so many, you know, New England style IPAs, double IPAs, um, they can, you know, run a lot, you know, very similar. So, here's hoping. Cheers. It does taste a little different. It's, you know what it is? It's very melon forward. I get like very ripe uh, honeydew melon. So maybe that's some of the aroma that was a little tough for me to pinpoint because I haven't had a beer like that in a while and I haven't um, eaten melon in a while. But I tell you what, if I wasn't picking it up on the aroma, definitely the taste. Yeah, so like ripe honeydew, ripe cantaloupe. Nice. Very 
Good level of bitterness. I do think it drinks more like a double than a single IPA, but definitely good level of bitterness. Good mouthfeel. There's some candied sweetness, like, you know, fruit candy sweetness. Um, you know, I think there's yeah, a little bit of apricot, but really it's, it's melon dominant for me. Yeah, really nice mouthfeel. They've really been nailing the, um, like what they, not to keep saying mouthfeel, but like Beer Tree has definitely honed in what that part of the profile should be. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is using a hop or some hops. I don't eat, I don't eat a lot. I don't drink a lot. Like I, don't, I don't think it has Citra or Galaxy or Mosaic. Like I don't get any of that berry like I'd get with Mosaic. I don't get the pineapple like I'd get with Galaxy. I don't get what I almost always get a citrus out of Citra. So that's... It doesn't say the hops. Mm, yeah, it doesn't. At the bottom, doesn't. Now let's have some fun, is what it says at the bottom, besides the date. Uh, but yeah, super good beer. And, and like I said, when I was doing the aroma, like it's different than a lot of the ones I've been drinking, which I really appreciate. Um, I would drink this again gladly. Um, it's not the best beer I've had from them, and that's actually like a really big compliment to them because I think they've crushed it with a lot of their beers. Um, but yeah, it's good. It's different. I love the can art. Uh, I love what's in the can. I would definitely uh, gladly drink this again, and I continue to think Beer Tree is crushing it. Uh, if you had this beer before, let me know uh, what you think. If you have had it, in the comment section below. Uh, have you checked me out on Instagram on Untapped? It's just no hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.